I still need to balance it. Um, the idea behind balancing is that we can't just create an atom of magnesium or an atom of phosphorus. Um, we can't just create them out of nowhere and they can't disappear out of anywhere. So this idea of balancing is making sure, did we account for all of the atoms we needed for this reaction to happen? Um, I always do this using what I call a domino effect. Start anywhere, I typically start with the very first thing in my reaction. And I ask myself, how many magnesiums are there here? So you practiced, I don't know if it was a lesson or two lessons ago, asking how many atoms, right? We could say, oh, there's one magnesium and two nitrogens and six oxygens. Same idea. How many magnesiums do I have on the left? One. How many magnesiums do I have on the right of the arrow? Three. Those are not balanced. That makes it seem like two magnesiums just poofed out of thin air. So I need to balance them. And I balance with coefficients. Let me write that out for you. I want to make sure I stay in the screen. Balance with coefficients, meaning big numbers. Sorry, when I say big numbers, I mean like literally bigger on your paper, like not a subscript that's a little number, but a big number that goes out front of the whole compound. So three magnesiums, one magnesium. What I would do is put a big three there that now applies to the magnesium. So now I have three magnesiums on the left and three magnesiums on the right. I've balanced the magnesium. I need to balance every single thing in here. And where I go next, I always say, well, this three, it's a coefficient. So it distributes to everything. Okay. I have three magnesiums, but it also affects how many nitrates I have. And I'm going to look at nitrate as a group because it stays together as a group. Um, so it's going to be way easier to balance nitrates than just nitrogens and oxygen separately. Um, if that three weren't there, of this nitrate group, of the thing in parentheses, I would have two. I'd have two of that whole group. Now I have three of the two that three distributes. So really what I have here are six nitrates because of that three and that two. I have six nitrates here. Here, there aren't parentheses, but if they help you to think about it for a second, I only have one nitrate. So what do I need in front? A six. Then I stay where I'm at and I say, what else does the six affect? Well, it affects the lithium. I have six lithium on the right. I only have three on the left. So to get it to six, I put a two. I don't put a six because that three is still affecting the lithium. So I put a two there and now I know I have six lithium. What else did this two affect? Domino it through. Two phosphoruses. Hey, I have two phosphoruses. I'm good. I've looked at every single ion, the magnesium, the nitrate, the lithium, the phosphorus, every single part of it, and made sure I have the same number on each side. I'm going to give you a bunch to practice. Um, the general steps that I went through, right, showing the ions, crisscrossing, switching partners, crisscrossing, and then picking something to balance and dominoing through, that always works. Um, but it's kinda, it takes practice to get good and feel comfortable with it. So when you get one wrong or when you feel like you can't balance one, number one, don't get too discouraged. Some are harder than others. Eventually, they'll all feel easy to you. Um, number two, ask for help, right? I would so much rather you sign on and ask for help. Um, then struggle with balancing one for 20 minutes and feel like it's the worst thing in the world. Okay, tips and tricks I'll give you along the way. I'll try to put some hints in the answers as well. Um, but just practice a bunch. You'll get there.